morning, church. So good to be with y'all. I am filling in today for Pastor. He is uh, had an appointment and uh, asked me to fill in for him today. Um, so always honored to help him by filling in and getting to hang out with y'all uh, this morning. And um, if you will, I'm going to try to see in the chat uh, if you've got a prayer request this morning, if you want to put it in. And I'll pray for us uh, at the end of our um, at the end of our devotion time. Um, and if I miss it, please forgive me. I'm going to go back and look through our comments. Um, but this morning, I want to go through uh, in my studies at Luther Rice. Right now, I'm in the Book of Revelation, which for for I know a lot of you is um, can be confusing. For me, it was confusing. It was also very intimidating and um, I, it's something that I just kind of avoided you know I, I knew I allowed other people and their opinion and their thoughts uh, to kind of help me to pick what I thought about scripture specifically in Revelation and uh, I really just kind of dove off the cliff this semester and am trying to decipher and read through the book of Revelation and uh, have learned a lot and um, one of the most valuable parts of this course that I've been taking is that we've had to make an outline for each chapter and uh, it's been such a such a great journey because I I not only had to read the whole book but I I had to regurgitate on an outline what exactly happened and that's been super helpful for me now again it's still very confusing to me there's a lot uh, I've got my my views and my opinions my opinions and my thoughts um, on the scripture there in Revelation um, however I just wanted to encourage you the body I think uh, many people miss out that that John was writing this to the early church um, in in Asia Minor to seven churches that I think some people miss that and he was also not only capturing the vision that Jesus gave him but he was also he was um, writing uh, to the churches to encourage them during a time of persecution so I just want to encourage our body today uh, whatever you're going through I want to encourage you this is the hope that we have and this is in Revelation 22 I've got it pulled up on my computer so if I keep looking above me that's what I'm reading off of but this is Revelation 22 then the angel showed me the river uh, John is John is explaining the vision that he's seeing here then the angel showed me the river of the water of life as clear as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing 12 crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. No longer will there be any curse. The throne of God and the Lamb, and the lamb will be in the city, and his servants will serve him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night, and there will not need uh, there will not need the light of a lamp or the light of sun, for the Lord God will give them light, and they will reign forever and ever. Um, that that is the true hope, and the the very the very end. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that happen before this time, but uh, for me, this is the the new heaven and the new earth where we will um, rule and reign with Jesus forever. This is the hope that we have. And um, well, I was reading this this morning, just reading back over it. And there's a song that, uh, and I'm not going to sing it because I can't, I can't do it justice this morning, but uh, that David Phelps does. And it's called, there will be no more night. And um, as I've thought about that song, um, no more night, no more tears, no more crying, no more suffering. Um, to um, in the picture that that John is is telling here of the river of life that flows from the throne of God, um, 
And uh, what that kind of spoke to me also this morning is that we truly, God is the source. And so many times we, we are looking for anything and everything but, um, but him to be our sustainer. And here in this picture of what, what it will look like and fully restored heaven and earth is that Jesus, the Lamb of God, the throne of God, that there will be um, the river of life flow through him. And really it does because without him, apart from Christ, we, we don't have life and we don't have any way of hope. But with him, uh, through his gift of salvation, we have hope and life. And uh, so I hope that encourages you. Um, I'm seeing a few comments here. And um, good morning, Connie. It's good to see you. Beverly. I think I saw Vanessa say hey. So good to see y'all. Um, well, I just want to lead us in a couple of songs today. I hope this has been encouraging to you. Um, we need him so much. And uh, I just want to lead you in that. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. Close my his heart to mine will evermore be. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee, oh, precious now, my Savior. I come to a newer version of that song. Lord, I come and I confess bowing here I find my rest because without you I fall apart you're the one that guides my heart you know this wherever you're at if you want to just lift it up to him just shout out your need for him he hears and he answers our prayers can we sing this together and lord i need you oh i need you every hour i need you my one defense my right Oh, God, how I need you. And teach my song to rise to you. When temptation comes my way. When I cannot stand, I'll fall on you. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Slipped up that course together. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh, God, how I need you. Amen. Amen. Um, seeing a few prayer requests here. I was trying to peer as I was leading through that. Um, can't, I can't, it's, it's scrolling up. I can't exactly see who said that, but I do want to pray for um, um, those that are suffering from cancer. And uh, I think of my dear friend, Vanessa. Y'all continue to pray for her. And I know there's many others. She's just so, she's in, uh, she sings in our ministry and she's She's uh, around us a lot, so I think of her often. Um, I'm, trying, I'm gonna wait and give a few more minutes to see if there's any more needs that I can address here as we pray. Um, God is faithful to hear and answer our prayers. So many times I, I call a friend or I call uh, someone else before I even call him. And I think that 
I think that message of our need for him is so, at least for me, is so, so relevant. Uh, I, I can't forget how much I need him and how much I want my, how much I need to want him. And, um, I see, uh, we want to continue to pray. Constantine is joining us. We want to pray for their family. Um, continue to pray for them. Um, is there any more needs or prayer requests? Well, thank you all for joining me today. I'm sure I've missed some needs. Um, but I'm, I'm going to pray for us. And I just want to pray over your Wednesday here in November. God, we're so thankful for your goodness and your grace. And Lord, I do need you. I need you so much, God. I need you. I need to interact with you more. I need to be in your word more. And so, Lord, I just pray that you would, uh, Lord, not that I would be convicted in a way where I feel bad. God, I just want to, God, I want to be in community with you. God, not because I have to, but because I want to be in community with you. And Lord, I just pray that you would help me um, to do that and do that more often. God, I also pray again for those that are um, struggling with cancer. God, I do think of Vanessa and many others. God, I pray for Constantine and their family. God, I just pray for, there's so, so many moving parts to that. And so Lord, I just want to pray a hedge over them and their family. I know many, many are having surgery today. I think of, of Glenda today who's had had surgery, um, Glenda Smith, I pray for her. Um, Lord, and the many others that are hurting, um, those that have lost loved ones recently, God, I just pray that you would fill, fill the void, God. I pray, Lord, that you would restore them and encourage their heart, encourage their mind. God, I pray, Lord, just over this Wednesday, I pray, God, God, if, if the morning hasn't been going well, I pray, God, that you would remind them of of all of your good good deeds and good mercies, God. I pray, Lord, that you would turn turn our eyes upon you, God, that our focus wouldn't be on our circumstances, but our focus would be on you, God, and you are good and you are faithful. So, God, I pray, Lord, you'd help us to turn to you and look to you. Um, Lord, we love you. God, thank you for your goodness and your grace. In Jesus' name, amen. So good to be with y'all today. Um, we will see y'all Tomorrow, I think Pastor will be back with y'all, and uh, I love each of you. I care for you. I'm thankful and honored to uh, get to shepherd and serve with you at First Conyers, and uh, God bless you on this Wednesday morning, and we will talk to y'all soon.